morning. It is Wednesday 6th of December. Isn't the month going fast? Do you find it going fast? I do. Um, we haven't done anything really Christmassy, so today I'm going to try and put the tree toppers on, the trees, and finish those, even though the cat still, she knocked it right off today and I had to pick all the baubles up and put them back on. Uh, last night I read the Enid Blyton Christmas story and that's all I read because I was really tired and went to sleep. So that was a bit of a fail for reading yesterday. But you never know, I might read a bit today. Um, plan is, I'm just doing some filming for YouTube. Got one more to do, so I can get them edited together and start putting them up. Um, I'm then going to come up and do all my drafting, get my five listed, etc, etc. Um, I'm going to go out then around half ten-ish probably and get... Uh, Jane's got her free fest on. I just want to go and see if there's any more clothing down there I can purloin. Not purloin because, you know, she's giving it away for free. Uh, to list. Uh, then I'll be on to Mum and Dad's to photograph what's left. There's only nine items, so if I don't get this like half, eleven, I've still got time to do it. It's not a problem. We've got Mark coming this afternoon to have a look at the catch on the tumble dryer. Hope to God he can fix it because I've got to wash Jennifer's clothes for tomorrow. I will be putting them on soon. In fact, I'm going to put her try the, that washing cycle on now before I go and finish this last video. Just so that, uh, if worse comes to worse, I can pop stuff on radiators and get it heat dried like that. It's not the way I like to do it, but it has to be done. So I'm going to go and put some washing on. Basically, it's trousers she needs. She's got tons of tops and cardies. It's just the trousers. Um, so I'm going to go and do that now. Um, I'm going to film... My reading wrap up, so my book's here somewhere, it's over there. And then I'm going to crack on with eBay because I want to get as much done as I can so that tomorrow I can have a pretty easy day of it. So all i got to do tomorrow is put five live and then if I don't want to do anything else, I don't have to. I can have a day off. I want to have a day of reading and colouring. Mum and Dads, I am so tired. I'm not going to do any photographs today, I'm just going to have some lunch and maybe have a doze. Um, I haven't done much this morning. I've been looking for a specific photo of Marilyn. I cannot find. I know it's in one of my books. I've asked two of the most knowledgeable book people in the Marilyn community, and that's my friend Fraser and my friend Michelle, uh, to see if they can help me locate it. Um, I've also asked for some photographs to be posted of her doing a specific thing for a TikTok. Um, it was just holding a comb during makeup and wardrobe tests and hair tests. Um, what else? Mark came <clears throat> looked at the tumble dryer. He can fix it. He's just got to get catch and he's going to price that up. That's fine. Tried to ring the doctors because I need a, what they call a fit note for ESA. ESA is something called Employment Support Allowance. Um, because my mental health has been severely impacted by what happened with my job, they will pay me a benefit until I'm ready to go back to work, which I'm hoping will be soon. I am looking, um, and like I said, as soon as things change and you're ready or you find yourself a job you're happy with, just let them know and they can stop it. So I should be receiving that within a month. Well, within in a week to 10 days, he said. But I've got to get a fit note first. So that's fine. Um, so I go ring the doctors first thing in the morning. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm really tired. I've got to put some washing on when I get home because Jennifer needs trousers for Thursday, Friday. I can't, I've got the time to dry. But what I'll do is I'll put them on the radiators and they will dry very, very quickly with the heat on because the heat's on a fair bit of the day. So I'm at Mum's, I'm going to go in now, have a cup of tea with my mum and dad, uh, have some lunch, have a doze, get Jen, and then I've got a colouring page all picked out to colour and it's a Christmas one. I've had my lunch and I'm now waiting to pick up Jen. I was going to have a sleep at Mum's but I didn't. I actually sat there scrolling, Facebook, TikTok, etc. Because I'm an idiot and... No, I'm looking for some specific pictures of Marilyn that I want to use for various TikToks going forward. Um, and I've just found... Oh, I get fed up. Why is it we're still debunking this whole her body went missing rubbish after so long? There have been some great, great channels out there who have debunked this. Um, I've debunked it. <laughs> yeah, people... But these videos hardly get any traction. Yet the ones saying that the rubbish get tons of it. It's ridiculous. You do feel like you're banging your head up against a brick wall. I mean, 
If people are stupid enough to believe that, and they say, oh, I read it, therefore it must be true, basically. I said, well, if you read the... And I actually posted this. If you heard The Moon with Cheese, would you believe it? Or would you actually go out and research it properly by talking to experts? What would you do? Am I getting annoyed for no reason? Or is it this, that I'm passionate about Marilyn? And have been for so long that it's really irritating me. Yeah, that's true. Anyway... I'm so tired. I'm gonna put a cup of tea when I get home. It's so cold. I'm gonna put the heated blanket on and I'm gonna sit and colour a Christmas picture because that's what I want to do. But no, I, I'm alright. I'm just a bit tired. Um, I did bugger all this morning. I did put five listings up, so that's something, but I was just faffing around. Still, never mind. It's all good. I've got tomorrow. I can. I've got. I've got stuff I can list. I just got to get them ready. I've got four to get ready. I, I need to get four ready to go live tomorrow. Um, I've got some stuff I can bring in and photograph from the shed. And some, I've got a really nice camera I want to test. This is a Shika Electro SLR. That's really nice. I, I, I'm kind of wanting to give up eBay so I can keep all these cameras, <laughs> but I'm also wanting to sell them because I want money. But that's me. Anyway, I'm gonna carry on debunking more. Rubbish. So everybody's gone to bed and I'm sitting here all on my own, feeling a bit sad and lonely. I'm colouring. I've had enough arguing with you on TikTok, especially when they're just kids who, you know, they'll argue with you. Um, I don't look at people's profiles. I don't know how old these people are. And then they go, oh, you grown person, I'm arguing with your email. And so, so I just reply, well, I don't know how old you are. I'm frankly, I don't care. If you're not willing to learn, that's on you. When I was your age, we'd actually, and we heard something that... You know, we wouldn't necessarily just believe it outright. We'd go in and actually look into things because that's called research. I'm just fed up with people right now. I really don't like people very much. Not all people. Some people are lovely. But generally, people who just believe anything. Like I said, if if I told you, if I made a video, <laughs> but it's in a video. The video says otherwise. Right, I could make a video saying the the... Bloody Moon's made of cheese, would you believe it because of a video? Would you go and, you know, call me out on it? Because you sh really should. <sighs> I'm sick of people being stupid and idiots and... What's the point? We live in a world where nobody wants to learn, where people believe everything that they see in a video on an app that lasts for two minutes because they're not clever enough to figure things out and go and look things up properly. They're so gullible, they believe everything they see, and that's why they end up doing things like eating Tide Pods. So I'm going to sit here and colour. I'm going to go upstairs and read. And I'm going to... wonder what the point is in pretty much anything. See you tomorrow.